Soldier is a product that Christopher created because, you know, a lot of people out there, especially when they're getting their uh, photos taken or when they're under, you know, hot lights on a set, um, you see their scalp and they don't want to see their scalp. No one um, wants to yeah, see your nobody scalp. Nobody wants to see their scalp. Nobody. Um, nope. Today, we have the ability to not only set with the powder and color with the cream, but also he's giving us the brush to go along with it. It's a $42 value that you're getting home for just $38.18 or two payments of just $19.09. And we've got several shades to choose from. So Christopher, let's show everyone the shades and help us walk through which ones we're gonna pick for ourselves. Okay, great. Okay. Well, salt and pepper is something that you could use if you wanted to try it, Alberti. But you could also, um, if you're a pale blonde, a pale ashy blonde, you could also use a salt and pepper. Blonde is what I'm wearing because I have very thin hair and the whole crown of my head and the whole front of my head is full disclosure in blonde. So it's good for anyone with bl golden blonde hair all the way to light brown hair. And then we've got brunette, which is great for anybody who has light brown hair all the way to deep brown hair. And then black, which you're gonna see me use now, is the darkest for people with really, really black hair. Okay, so there are two formulas in here, guys. Remember, there's a powder formula and a cream formula. This is the salt and pepper. And Christopher said I could use this one if I wanted. So maybe if you just wanted. If I wanted. <laughs> wink, wink. Um, but here's the deal. So, Christopher, do we start with the creams just like we do with all the other Everything cream else. Cream okay. plus powder equals staying power. Same thing. I needed to make this for myself because I wanted to be able to get wet. I wanted to be able to exercise. I wanted to get caught in the rain by accident, maybe, and not have to panic and scream for the hills because I was gonna melt like the Wicked Witch of the West and have brown stuff coming down my face. This does just that. It locks it down, so you just don't have to worry about it. My, I take the short end, short end of the brush right there, and I use it in the cream. Okay, there we go. And then you use the long side into the powder to set it. So let me show you. This is, it's again, just like the, the blush and the brows, it's like a primer. You don't have to paint your whole head with it. But do you see how there's an entrance here? Sometimes people wear extensions or weaves and the, the hair just starts to you know, recede a little bit. People on medication, pregnancy. There's a million reasons why hair can get thin. Wearing a ponytail all the time can do it. It doesn't matter why. We don't need to see it. Nobody wants to even talk about it. So just between us, this is what we do in Hollywood, okay? So you, you're just applying. Now you, you're doing that liberally. Yeah, I mean, not really. I mean, at the oh, hairline. Wait, so you put the cream first, now you're doing the powder. Yeah, you could do the powder just by itself, but if you, if you know you're gonna be exercising and you're gonna be active, do the cream also. When I'm doing somebody that's shooting a movie, a lot of men wear this product me, number one, but there are a lot of famous men that wear this product and they will be less likely, likely to tell you than the women. So it's a big secret. But the active men, if they're shooting a movie, I always would do the cream and then the powder. But for every day, you could just use the powder by itself. But you see, it gives you a beautiful diffused look. And do you see how that's just filling in right away? Yeah. I now, now and I could cheat the hairline lower right here in the front. Oh, wow. Wow. And this, you know, your hairline, people always say your eyebrows are the frame to your face. That's not true. Your hairline is the frame to your face. And if your hairline's changing, your face is changing. So <laughs> you want to really make sure that it's fortified and strengthened because it really um, feminizes the face, makes you look younger makes you look healthier. Let's turn this way so we can really see what I'm doing here. Oh wow, so all of those like little, um, you know, kind of baby angel hairs. Yeah, they're just transparent, kind of, yeah. so you can just fortify it. I like to call it fortifying instead of filling because it just, sometimes we don't need a big solution, we just need some help. But you see, usually in this part of the face, the hairline would come in a little bit and then arc back out, but it's missing here so we can kind of just do that and it contours the face and looks very very natural oh my gosh look at that you see and it just and it's not it's, it's not more like, useful oh, what did you do it's just like wow you look great and some people like to put a little widow's peak in here because they get greedy and, <laughs> but you see but that's it that's it it's easy and I do it and I 
do it at, once every like three days because I could just keep it on my head and I just take a shower, wash my face, but I don't um, get my head wet. And it lasts. Michelle in our chat just said, wow, that just took 10 years off. Well, the truth of the matter is, is that, yeah, when you have more hair closer to um, the face, it does give you a much more youthful appearance. And the only thing that you're doing, guys, is basically adding, you know, that, um, that kind of undertone or that shadow yep. to the scalp area from the hair. So it really is looking so realistic. I mean, every time I see Christopher, I think it's so funny. He's always like, oh gosh, I use it here and I use it here and I don't have, uh, you know, a lot of hair in this area. And I'm always like, your hair looks great. Oh, no, it no, looks no. amazing. Um, so. I it's shocking. I'm actually a bald person. I <laughs> well, mean, really. Well, here's the thing, is that whether you are someone that really wants to, you know, just enhance your look okay. or you want to cover up any type of, you know, bald areas, look at this. Look at the transformation, guys. How natural this looks. And remember, Christopher didn't go further than where, you know, the hair was growing. What he did is he just kind of went in that same area. All you have to do is choose the correct shade. So let's just show you the shades one more time so that you guys can see which one to choose. And then um, you guys can see right over here, you're getting the brush as well as the palette. So right over here are your shades. Uh, Christopher, can you help us choose sure. which ones? Okay. Salt and pepper is for you, Alberti. No, <laughs> I'm kidding. Um, for anyone with salt and pepper hair or really light ashy blonde hair. Blonde is for anyone with golden blonde hair all the way up to brown hair. I'm wearing the blonde and brunette is for light brown hair all the way to deep brown hair, and then black is for the darkest color, um, darkest hair, which we just used now. All right, guys, two payments of $19.09 gets that one home. That does it for our show. Christopher, what? thank you so much, my friend. 